The director of the State Department of Corrections reportedly backing an effort to bring back the prison rodeo. This was first reported by Oklahoma Voice. The show at the state penitentiary in McAllister used to bring spectators from all across the country and the world. The last rodeo held in 2009. News Force Caitlin Ogle has the details. Repairs will be expensive. Some say the economic impact will be worth it. Others say the DOC should spend that money somewhere else. In fact, more than 100 prisoners will be letting loose at the 40th annual Labor Day Prison Rodeo. The prison rodeo at the state penitentiary in McAllister, bringing in fans from around the world, boosting the local economy. You had, you had all the hotels full, you had the restaurants full. Uh, as soon as the rodeo was over, uh, we were in a meeting the following week talking about next year's rodeo. Former warden Dan Reynolds says it began in 1940 to help provide medical needs for poor inmates. As it grew in popularity, so did the production. Inmates let out of their cells to try out for the team. Many of these guys have ridden all their lives, like Pat Potts, who grew up on a farm. Uh, a lot of them had some good talent. Over the years, the prison had budget and hiring freezes. No money in staff to keep the arena up and running. In 1985, you know, there was even concerns about the structure and the foundation. They were having uh, noticeable cracks in them, but it just continued to get worse. The last rodeo was held in 2009. Now, as first reported by Oklahoma Voice, the DOC director is backing a $9 million effort for repairs to bring the rodeo back. The agency reportedly asked for funds in the state budget, but didn't get them. That needs to go in paying additional for Department of Corrections workers and hiring more workers. The DOC telling News 4, quote, we are using $1 million in our budget this year from other savings to shore up the building. We aim to restart in 2025. It's a big morale boost for the inmates. In McAllister, Caitlin Ogle, Oklahoma's News 4. Reports say the rodeo profits could go towards the department and create new rehabilitation and employment programs. The DOC tells News 4 it plans to partner with the PBR, the professional bull riding organization.